Hey, this is Guy from New Plastic, and this is a quick tip on how to get realistic, fully procedural, subsurface scattering based soft cheese texture in Octane. You can get the SSS spec on my Gumroad with 36 materials, all procedural with models included. And you can support the channel on Patreon or on the YouTube membership, where you'll get this project file as well as many other things. Links to everything in the description. Shout out to Spencer Clark, Abhishek Singh, Lin, KB Davey, Tech You On, Just Hope Out, Yining Gong, Elad, 3D Monkey Biz, Kaylor, Jake, She Was Lost, Marcus Arnold, Connor McSheff. Zetsk and Bjorn Kindler for being amazing patrons and members. Follow me on Instagram at ojank. Subscribe, share, hit the bell, call your parents, tell them you love them. Let's go. So I have some cheese models I made with rim light from the right and background light and a weak HDRI to diffuse the shadows. And you can pause to see the settings here. Specular depth and GI clamp are probably too high here, but it's okay. Linear mode and denoise are on. Let's add a universal material, BRDF mode to GGX, albedo to black, metallicness to zero. Let's add about 0.35 roughness, set IOR to 1.42, which would fit something oily like cheese. Turn transmission all the way up and set the type to diffuse. And let's add a random walk medium. Let's add two RGB spectrums, one to the albedo with a very light cream color and the other to the radius with a way stronger orangey color. Let's turn density up to about 400, depends on your model scale. And the model is too white because the albedo channel is still white. So again, give it a very light cream color and that looks pretty delicious. Let's add an octane noise, add transform and set projection to XYZ to UVW. Plug that into the bump channel and solo it. Now let's uncheck the lock aspect ratio and bring down the X and Z scale to stretch out the noise and rotate it to align it however you want. And we can play with the Y scale to get more or less stretchy look. Let's change the type to chips and up the contrast and play with the gamma to get that black to be thinner. And you can scale and adjust the noise to your needs. Let's add a gradient node in between to bring down the contrast. So black will be 49% gray and white will be 50% 50.5% to gray. Cool. Now we got these streaks almost like impressions from the knife when the cheese was cut. Thing is we get those streaks on the bubble surface too which shouldn't happen and i guess we can fix that by adding a dirt node and let's just quickly plug it to the albedo and solo it so we can see so let's up the strength and just play with the radius and settings till we get as much black as we can on the inside of the bubbles and i should have changed the include object mode from all to self so the bottom of the cheese won't be black but it's fine let's combine the noise and the dirt node with a multiply node and plug it into the gradient and now most of the streaks from the bubbles are gone and that's it. Now, that was more of an Emmental cheese look. If we want to get more of a cheddar look, all we need to do is to change the albedo color in the random walk to a way stronger orange, up the bias to one to slightly reduce the scattering look, and maybe change the radius color to more of a yellow than an orange color. And I think I can make the albedo color even stronger and up the density a bit to get a little less light penetration and you're done so that's a really easy and procedural way to get that soft cheese type look super realistic it's delicious if you want to get these materials as well as many others check out the sss pack on my gum road and that's it have a great day i love you peace